on the sort of legal side. So I did try to do a bit of digging around the kind of copyright or actual legalities of using other brands or other characters or IP with an AI. And I saw an interesting quote by a law professor at Vanderbilt Law School in the States. And he said that if a machine and a human work together, but you can separate what each of them has done, then copyright will only focus on the human part. But how do we even do that when it comes to generative video? Is it, okay, well, the human part was the, the prompt or, you know, they were trying to lead the AI, but then it's like, well, okay, but the AI is taking the prompt and then it's running with it and it might have its own interpretation of what the human might mean. So it just gets really muddy, doesn't it? And I think it's like you said, Marcus, proceed with absolute caution. And if you think that, what you're doing could potentially be a breach of copyright then maybe step back and try to think about how you might be able to use something differently or avoid any kind of placement or inference to other brands or ip